hey what is up everybody i'm just waking up on a groggy saturday morning and before i gotta go to work i want to make a video that i probably should not be making um but i wanted to point out that let's see if i ever do get a chance to upload this um that something needs to be done about the world boss uh it's really cool get big numbers uh but there's just the design is just broken so in efforts to keep this video fairly short let's just go straight to the world boss and kind of show you what I'm talking about so the idea was was to promote having you know a diverse roster to to have to to build up you know multiple various teams and, and I don't know if another world boss is going to be different but this guardian of balance is completely not not balanced it's not guarding anything um, as you can see from this this team once you populate the providence watcher team and the destiny watcher team you can't take everybody off of it ideally I would like to go with two empty teams on the side but I did the next best thing. I just found two random like level ones that will die in the first hit. Therefore, they won't suck up any of my turns. The entire point is, is you have 300 turns to do as much damage as possible. And the Providence Watcher and the Destiny Watcher, they take 90% less damage. And the, the buffs that they provide while they're good, that team eats up a lot of turns, including the turns of the Providence Watcher and the Destiny Watcher. So as long as they're alive, they keep going and they just keep sucking up your turns. So my idea was why use those, why let those side teams take, take your turns? So our plan was to have the side teams die instantly and then because the boss is slowable and paralyzable to just permanently CC the boss and use Kangrim and Caroline to just blow him up. So let's see how that works. Uh, I want to caveat that by, you can see my score. Um, this score was achieved last time by using Scotty and Owen on the side. I want to do at least, you know, get one groggy state, you know, maybe get the max out of it. This time I'm just going full blown troll and putting, you know, crap crap stars in the uh in the side teams so let's see how it runs prior to me using this method i was trying like you know full teams and i think my best score was like 4.2 uh, million points so let's uh let's check it out and so obviously this depends on can we keep the boss cc because if he ever starts resisting and he uncc's then he'll be at full rage which means he'll uh he'll he'll start killing people off on the team and, and that'll destroy the run so it is a little bit of a, a like a burning mode mentality where you need uh you need to you're gambling you know you can get that high score or you can get like shitty score so okay we start with the first cc and this is gonna be a long fight, so um, bear with me here.
So one thing I am noticing as I'm kind of like watching this this fight is Caroline doesn't seem to be able to land her magic debuff at all once this fight gets going. I guess because of the boss's uh, stack tolerance. So if you could find a way to to land that, it would be it would be, it would be a giant jump in DPS. Another thing I'm noticing is prior to this next coming buff for for Congrim, where he's going to be able to use his ult for no soul if the target has mark of death on it. Um, He's not using his ult. He's not getting a chance to use his ult because it's a, I guess the the ro the way the rotation works. He's ne he's never got enough energy. So at this point, I feel like bringing Mikazuki in to to just use skill one to reduce tolerance would probably be a bigger DPS increase. However, once the Kongrim buff comes in, then I think Kongrim is going to be a a good choice. Just because he's actually going to be able to use his his ult, as you can see, like we've got one magic defense debuff this entire fight, and that was it. And pacing wise, we're definitely on pace to beat 8.3 mil if we can if we can keep the boss stunned. And like this, this again negates the need for like potions. I was really excited when Tecton was talking about like, you know, using potions on world boss and, and really, you know, going, going hard in order to try to like, you know, maximize the teams on the side, get mitigation potions and then like using crit to, to it was kind of cool. I was really excited about world boss. And then I found out that you can just use this. And so I believe I believe there, there's going to be a, a slight nerf to this. Oop. We need to get a stun. Oh, he resisted. This run might be over. Oh, no. So in instances that you just saw right there, and I don't know if you saw it happen, but the uh, the paralyzed dropped off and Chloe Chloe Van got resisted. Um, those instances right there, I believe, will be nerfed in the coming balance change as they fix Reina's skill two um, from being unresistible and unresistible like uh, slow. The problem is, is that he already had the uh, attack speed slow on him and it wasn't coming off so I think with this amount of turns he'll, she'll still be able to to land it most of the time we'll of course test it out once uh, once the balance comes in but I mean yeah like I, I shouldn't really be sharing this video but I think a lot of people have figured this out anyway so we might as well let the cat out of the bag because I think the more people that abuse this uh, will prompt will prompt uh, Gameville to to actually go in and, and perhaps take the design of their new features like a little bit more seriously because this this was entirely predictable and to, to have this level of you know lack of internal testing is frankly unacceptable somebody needed to have figured this out before they released this and like the weird thing is is they released this without really announcing it. They kind of just like dropped it on us and there's no shop to buy anything in. So like maybe this is Gameville's way of, of, you know, testing new features out. They just kind of throw them in the game and see what we do with them. And they don't give us the ability to like reap rewards. But the thing is, I mean, there's still a ranking. People are still like, like wanting to do it, leveling up tunes in order to do it. So there's a lot of focus that, that people will throw into to getting this done. And I don't think that's fair uh, when you when you do when you add a mechanic like this and you 
you kind of incentivize people to go in and, and burn resources in order to to make teams to do this when in reality you don't really need to do it at all and this is just you know a giant a giant beta test of a world feature like i'm sorry this is not a world feature i'm just staring at a boss that's just cc'd and i'm, I'm just hitting it a bunch of times this is not like i love to see big numbers i like to be able to post pictures and be in the top 100 but it's just not it's not rewarding like after it's rewarding figuring it out and then after that it's 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 no longer cool right so um please let let the developers know get on discord uh you know do whatever do whatever you need to do in order to get word out that this is not uh, a cool a cool mechanic so they, they could do a lot more and a lot better stuff with this world boss and i think that would promote uh the longevity of the game as opposed to the uh the instant dopamine rush of of seeing 10 mil pop up on the left side so here we go we're at 287 uh he's not paralyzed he resisted let's see if we can crack 10 mil i don't think we can Oh, close. All right, so we're back. We're back in the top 100 with our awesome team. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that. All right, guys. Um, spread the word and uh, keep having fun playing Elune. Peace.